Hi, I'm Chef Frank. This is Proto Cooks, and welcome back to another episode of Pinch of Frank. Today we're making pina coladas. You might ask yourself, hey Chef Frank, why pina coladas? I'm a child of the 70s and 80s, and there was a really famous song, If You Like Pina Coladas. And it's funny because my parents used to drink these quite often in the summertime. Uh, this is something that is burned in my memory. They used to make them for us without any booze in them and we had virgin pina coladas and I've always loved them. And this is just kind of my version of what they used to make. They used to use, you know, canned pineapple juice and, and uh, you know, the ingredients weren't all that great. It was never any fresh pineapple. It was always canned pineapple. So what we're gonna do is make kind of my version of my childhood memory uh, of pina coladas. And by the way, just to be sure, they were not alcoholic when I drank them. Okay, so I have pineapple juice. Fresh pineapple juice is the best if you can get it. I have some processed pineapple juice. It's not from concentrate, which is a good thing. Concentrate usually has a weird cook flavor to me. I have some regular coconut milk, just out of the can that you would use in like coconut curries. I have some Coco Lopez coconut uh, cream or cream of coconut. This is an important piece of this. This adds the sweetness, it adds the texture. If you can't find coconut, uh, Sorry, if you can't find Coco Lopez, find a coconut cream. I have some fresh pineapple. You can freeze this if you want. It'll add uh, a little more like coldness to the mix, but you can freeze it, but I just have a room temperature. I have some pineapple for garnish. I have a little maraschino cherry for garnish, and this is a good maraschino cherry. Um, you should get Luxardo's. They're the best maraschino chelli chellies? Cherries. <laughs> Cherries, they taste great, uh, and it's nothing like the red ones you get. Uh, I have just some Bacardi, some white rum. Uh, you don't need to go for expensive rum here. And I also have a little dark aged rum. This is Bacardi as well. This is not spiced. I don't want spiced rum, but dark aged rum. So this will be in the drink and then I'm gonna put a little floater of this on top because that's how I like it. So uh, now we have everything gathered. Let's make the drink. Let's make the drink. Um, I'm gonna put my garnishes aside for now and my glass aside for now. I also have about a cup of crushed ice. Uh, and like I've said before uh, with my other drinks is everything about this is measuring. A good drink always, you always measure so you get a good balance of uh, alcohol to sweet to sour. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my coconut cream, put it in the blender. Um, what if you don't want to blend it and have a frozen drink? That's absolutely fine. You don't need to blend this drink. You could just shake it in a shaker and, um, and pour it over crushed ice. So I have about three pieces of pineapple, those go straight in. So I have my coconut cream, my coconut milk, my uh, pineapple slices, let me shake this first. My pineapple juice goes in there, I got about six to seven ounces of pineapple juice. Uh, the thing I'm using in my hand is called a jigger. I will put a link to this on the description. And this is a two ounce and a one ounce jigger. I'm about to do about six ounces of pineapple juice. Basically a, a generous two ounce pour of rum. Um, don't be shy, you know. And then I'm gonna put all my ice in. Like I said, if you don't have a blender, don't worry about it. You can easily just do this and shake it in a shaker. We're gonna blend this up. I have my glass over here. It's gonna get a little noisy. You want to puree this really well. You don't want big chunks of ice in this. So I'm gonna puree right now. Let it go for a few minutes. Not a few minutes, like a minute, minute and a half. So all that ice gets blended up. Shut her off. Wait, I'm gonna go one more time. I heard a click. I heard a clacking, a clicking in there, and that means there's a big piece of ice floating around. Okay, good. So, it's looking good, smelling good, okay. I have a nice goblet here. Uh, I use these goblets for a lot of things. This makes more than one drink. This makes about two small drinks or one and a half large drinks. This goes into the glass. It's nice and creamy. Okay, I'm gonna get my Bacardi um, aged rum and put about a half a shot and just float this on top because booze. A little piece of pineapple on the edge because, you know, oh, I broke it. That's why you always have two, because I broke it. And then I have my maraschino cherry that I'm just gonna plop in there. Okay, let's give it a taste. Oh man, delicious, rich, creamy, not overpoweringly uh, like sweet. It's got some acidity from the pineapple, but absolutely delicious. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and this has been A Pinch of Frank. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Check out my Instagram account, at Proto Cooks. Um, we have links to the equipment that I use in the description. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this pina colada.